Let's learn a brand new circle theorem. So we'll start off by drawing a circle. We will then draw a diameter, which is a line that has to go through the circle center. If it doesn't go through the center, then we call it a chord instead. Now we'll call the two ends A and B. And let's use A and B to form an angle on the edge of the circle. You can go and choose, or you can choose wherever you want. Now, if you were to go and measure this angle, what you would find is that it's 90 degrees. And this is something that Euclid discovered, was that as soon as you have an angle on the edge of a circle that comes from two points that make the diameter, then it will always be 90 degrees. So we could say that angle C is equal to 90 degrees, and the reason that you're going to use is angle in a semicircle. Why we use the word semicircle when, we don't, when we're not even busy with a semicircle, don't even worry about that. Just remember that the, the, the reason is angle in a semicircle. So diameters always make angles of 90 degrees. And you can draw this out for yourself at home. You would see that it actually makes sense and it always works. So straight away over here, we can see that A and B, they go through the center of the circle. So we can be sure that that's a diameter. And so the angle that forms by, with the diameter is always 90 degrees. And so we would say that angle C is 90 degrees and the reason would be angle in semicircle. Over here we have line AB which goes through the center. So A and B is a diameter. And so that means straight away that angle C is 90 degrees because A and B forms C. Let's see if that's true. You start off at C and you work your way backwards. Well, that takes us to A. And then you start at C again and you work your way backwards and that takes us to B. So what that means is that A and B forms C. Is D also 90 degrees? Well, to be sure, we just start at D and we work our way backwards. Yes, it hits A. And if we work our way backwards with this one, it hits B. And so it does come from A and B. And so angle D would be equal to 90 degrees as well. And then obviously in a test, you would have to just put your reasons over there. So in summary, any diameter forms an angle of 90 degrees, but that angle must be on the edge of the circle.